All right, all right. Episode five of the late takes. Of course, you got the panel here. Well, I got J Money with me. Yes, sir. And we got Warwolf. You. Kiki the Don. Yes, sir. As we proceed to give you what you need, the prodigal Don has returned. <laughs> and of course, the man, the legend, the only one, the porn professor is here. He's finally here on the late takes. It's, Ducks. it's Dax. And Doe. D-O. I'm back, baby. So, did anybody on the panel watch Mission Impossible? For you? Yes, I did uh, not. I definitely yes, Docs, do you watch it? Nah, man, they ain't my oh. bag yet. Oh man, have you seen any of them? Like any of the Mission Impossible? Absolutely movies? not. Oh man, gotta add that's, that to watch. That's not my bag. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, we're we going to teach you, bro. All right, I'm going to need you. I don't, I don't like how you said that to me. Mm, my fault, my fault. You get, <laughs> just say we're going to put you on game or some shit, nigga? Mm, I'm putting on that Tom Cruise. You know he's black. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I'm Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Wolf, what did you think of it? Oh, it was enjoyable. I didn't get tired of, of it. Long movie, long movie. I think I went in. It was like two forty-five and came out like shit, almost like six o'clock. Because you got those previews, so it just made everything long. But I didn't get bored at all with it. Good writing, good characters. Didn't have any slow moments, like where it would drag on. I do like the concept of the well. I don't know if this will be like spoiler of the villain. I won't tell what the villain is, but the villain is an AI. And it kind of like nice spoiler, but like I mean it's not. I don't think it was in the trailer. No. Well, it was this it went over our heads. <laughs> yeah, so it is uh an AI is what is the main villain, which is like a pretty interesting take. Old concept though. But it's kind of relevant now because how AI is now acting, you know, with Chat GPT and the fear of it becoming so smart that it starts saying no to human input and thinking of its own kind of gives you a Terminator, what is it called? Skynet vibe? Yeah, Skynet. <laughs> AI said, bro, he said that shit is getting dangerous and he regret creating it just like the creator of the fucking atomic bomb and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting I'm some Ultron vibes. Shit. Vibes. <laughs> Oh, did you watch it in IMAX or Adobe? I watched it in because I go to what's the name of the fucking place? Regal. So oh, Cinema. Yeah. Loud, but it wasn't like you know blasting loud like fucking Transformers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Transformers was loud. Wait, watch what? Mission Impossible. Oh, where were you? I was here. I I, I was no. I was here. I, I said no. I said I didn't watch it. I just oh, I just went. AFC. Your ADHD kicking in right now. No, I had to go AFC. I had to go make me some eat. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I watched it in IMAX. Uh, I will say, How about I went back and watched Fallout. Fallout visually looks better. It's probably the best looking Mission Impossible movie. But even still, this arguably has like best set pieces, and especially the ending, which paid a, a homage to Uncharted 2. Even the creator of Uncharted 2, you know, like one of the writers, <laughs> seen it and he, he tweeted about it. Um yeah, man, it's 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 a really up there against John Wick. Like I think it a lot of people are gonna be comparing those two movies as like either the best movie of the year or best action movie of the year because like damn the set pieces are really really good um i will I say that john wick would win in action because that was very action oriented it, it it will but at the same time i will say there's certain things that they both do better like 
Mission Impossible's car, car chase scene was better than John Wick's Oh, yeah. Car. Yeah. Plus, it was and, longer. Yeah, it was a lot longer. And it didn't feel that long. Even, like, the, the first, like, I want to say, what, 10 minutes? It didn't feel long, but you were just like, oh, yeah, this, this shit's getting real. But definitely recommend it. Um, I mean, by the time people listen to the pod, it's going to be too late to um, watch an IMAX because it's Oppenheimer week and Barbie week. So, Oh, yeah. They're taking up all the Oppenheimer. Yeah. Which I got my ticket for Oppenheimer. We'll be seeing that. The, they won't. the dual threat at the, uh, the theaters, no one anticipated, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess so different crowds, but there's also a merge of like people that go literally might see both. So like, I don't yeah. know. Wait, when does Oppenheimer come out? Oh, the 21st. 21st. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching it on the 20th, and Barbie should be coming out the same day. I think like uh, actually no, it's coming out on Tuesday. It's a uh, early access premiere. I missed out because those tickets sold out like instantly. So yeah. I'm going to figure that out, though, because I do not want to watch. The pride of me doesn't want to watch that movie alone. That yeah, might be weird. Man, he's gay. He but at the same time, it's Margot Robbie. Alone. You think he's going to be gay? Hey, no, no, no <laughs> it's shame, Barbie. If you wanna go we see grew Barbie. up around that. Like, there's, there's no shame. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm just a little weird about it. <laughs> yeah, he, said, Margot Robbie. he said, go ahead and give me the rainbow flag, bro. Oh, that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Do it for Margo. Hey, man, listen, listen. if you're going to do it, do it. If you're not going to go alone, take a shorty with you. Boom, there you go. Yeah. See, hey, I, I, I had hey, that. You know, on those Tinder quick, uh, quick hookups. I'll go see some Barbie. I'm going to figure it out. At the end of the night. Like, that shit Whoa, easy. this is not the late W, sir. <laughs> what did he say? Relax. <laughs> a filter day. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. That's a, that's two two pods in a row, bro. <laughs> you need to relax. Like we we specifically said we say scrolissy around here. Scrolissy is crazy. Wait, Negro, what did you fucking say? But look, like that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like like that's any better? That's probably worse. No, nah, that hey, listen, scrolissy. Doc, you, you missed. You know what? I'm a segue guy, so let's get into it, bro. Um, Secret Invasion. Are you caught up, Docs? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen. Anything that's the MCU uh, the shows, I ain't watching. So. And guess what? And guess what? I don't blame you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't got no, I ain't got no Disney Plus or nothing, so I ain't even itching for it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'll slide you to Disney Plus because I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Um, listen, that boy Nick Fury's been getting some Carlisi. Because yes. I know you're not going to watch this mug. After people ain't watching this mug. The ratings have been bad. But he's he been getting to it. And I'll that's admit. What, that's why I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> listen, bro. Listen. It, it's, I will say, like I said last week, just wait till the, all the mugs are out. The f- finale is next week. I know it's bad because the MC of uh, the MCU Twitter page tweeted out a promotion talking about hey get ready for the uh the finale and it's like bro so what the fuck about this week's That's episode so <laughs> they basically saying ain't shit happening in this episode <laughs> and I know it because me and Jay Money were watching it uh, at the crib and we knew it we were like 37 minutes what the hell I was pissed and we were watching this mug, and I told him, I told him exactly. I'm like, look, majority of this episode is going to be straight up action. The first 10 minutes was like drama, and it sets up a lot of stuff, which is really good. Um, Samuel, he deserves something for this, bro, for his performance. Yeah. Like, it, it's really good up there. And then it was the straight action. It was kind of predictable, low key. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it confirmed some stuff. Like, I mean, listen, we're we going to spoil it because. You ain't gonna watch that much. Niggas ain't about to watch it. You're not. Oh, that boy was confirmed. Uh, because even Kevin Spice confirmed it. Yeah, Rody's a scroll. Um, and Feige basically said he's been a scroll for a very, very long time. Yeah, we don't know exactly what point, but a while. Yeah, 
everybody joking saying since Terrence Howard got replaced. <laughs> That's that's literally uh, my uh, fucking uh, reason. Nah, <laughs> when nah, he nah. got swapped, that was that was the scroll. If anything, I feel like that's probably during the uh the blip or a little bit before. Yeah, I think yeah. so because he hasn't been walking with a limp, and I was like, that's a red flag. Mm-hmm. Like, no limp, nothing on his leg, anything, bro. Like so, something not adding up. But we knew it was gonna end real short, and once it went to the blast screen. J Money was like, I know it ain't ending it like that. I was, man, come on, bro. They ended it. I, f- I forgot what it, exactly the last scene was, but it's like, how y'all gonna end it right there, bro? Fucking roll the credits. That's why I said just wait for all them episodes to, to come out if you're gonna watch it. Um, If you think about it, they kind of robbed us with, the, with this show. It's supposed to be six hour long episodes. First three was 40 something minutes a piece. And yeah, I get that if if you're broadcasting it, you got commercials and shit, but they're not. They're streaming it, first of all. Second of all, last episode was 37 minutes. Like, come on. And what makes it worse? I told him, I said, listen, listen, the, the, you know the budget was bad for this month yeah. because I showed I was like, you see the, the explosions, the missiles the, the, that got shot? That <laughs> mug didn't sound nothing like no missile. Like, you know how you're in the movies. Or just even even you're at home watching the movie, you you hear the explosion, you you, you kind of feel it. You got like a sound bar, a home system. That mug didn't make no sound or shake the room at all, bro. Like, this is that generic stock oh sound from the '80s and shit. It was like one of them video game explosions, bro. Like it was bad. I was like, did they even even the guns didn't look like that good as far as like the the shots being fired? I'm like, come on, bro. They they definitely cut some corners. You can tell. But shit, what's even talk about it? Their budget was 212 million, which was revealed. Um, a lot of the Marvel shows' budgets, like She Hulk, was 250, I believe, or something like that, or 240, which is ridiculous if you ask me. And it's crazy because you know, Bob, Bob Iger's like, we're gonna start cutting budget cutting all of the, the Marvel projects and the like Disney projects. And it's just like, once this came out, I'm like, where did this budget go to market or something? Because you got a a, a, a fake ass Hulk character Cut. that got no <laughs> no like hairline, bro. Oh, what's his name? Scar? No, nah, that ain't Scar. That's Cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, we're not, no, we're not gonna, no, no, no. I refuse to acknowledge that motherfucker as Scar. Kiss my ass. <laughs> that's definitely, that's not, definitely not him. That's definitely not him. Like, bro, they made them so uncanny looking instead of like fictional. Because Hulk, to me, like, Hulk almost looks like a fictional orc. He's supposed to have <laughs> small features. He's supposed to have, like, like a comically small nose with a big, you know, big mouth. But they look so fucking humid. It's just ugly to look at. They literally be just copy-pasting Mark Ruffalo face on there, bro. Yeah, yeah. and that's what makes it and look, I already look hate that anyway, so that don't, really, that don't make it no better. It looked better before Smart Hulk in Endgame. Yeah, yeah. It that looked actually looks like a comic looking Hulk. <laughs> then he fused two brains and now he looks like a humanoid green guy. I mean, that yeah. is how he looks in the that. books somewhat. But it just doesn't look right, realistic. They're trying to translate into realism. It just looks ugly. It was <laughs> terrible. But, um,. With this Bob Iger stuff, we're seeing he wants to do the budget cuts, and he's I don't know if you saw his uh comments about the, the whole actor strike. And man, it, it, he's just getting disrespectful and he's saying that the actors need to be realistic. And it's funny because this dude is getting bank like two what was it like 200 mil or something? It was something crazy, bro. Uh, yeah, it was it was actually like 25. For the year though, right? It was twenty five. Yeah. But overall, what was it like? He was earning like two hundred mil or something yeah, crazy, something, something like that. And it's just like, bro, no wonder you don't want to. And especially he just signed like another like year or something, like a bonus or something like that. And it's like, no wonder you saying this nut ass stuff. Like, yeah. You don't want to affect you. It don't. And he don't want to give up that money or take that pay cut to pay these actors. And it's like you, you're just a piece of the shit. Actors, bro. the writers, like nigga, like how you think this shit getting done? It ain't you. You just exactly. the bread man. 
That's it. And then these these writers are getting paid tw- literally. What was the She Hulk? I, I think it was a She Hulk. Uh, one of the writers they showed like the residuals. She got like two hundred ninety six dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. Yeah, no, that's disgusting, bro. One one writer got like twenty one bucks. I don't know which which Disney show it was, but it was like twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars, bro. It's like, what the fuck are they on, bro? Like, you at least gave them a. At, at this like, point, what? they need to stop trying to like stop trying to be hired through these companies. They should go like make their own content. They can get more money making their own shit than trying to go to some company like DC, not DC, uh, Disney, Marvel, or whatnot. Like, if you have the talent to write fucking shows. You might as well take that talent and uh, create your own like company or your own works of art. See, the, the problem shit. is though the in, the way that the industry is, it revolves around these these big budgets and big studios. Because you can do an indie film, but people don't realize when you're doing an indie film, publicity is not going to get like the back. There's something. There's mm-hmm. some pros and cons to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's a lot of and you're paying out of pocket too. Yeah. So it's like you're not making any money when you do these small projects per se. You're doing it for the, the love of the art, of course, but like recognition. And then right now with the strike, nobody can do anything. The writers can't write anything. The actors can't go on podcasts or anything. To pr- they can't even go to premieres. So all the new movies that are coming out. So after what? Ain't no movies coming out. <laughs> oh. Everything is pretty much cooked, bro. Yeah. yeah. Fuck this writer strike because that means we got... Uh... Spider Verse delayed. You monsters. It was gonna get delayed regardless. It was, get delayed. It was already delayed. This it is was worse. Gonna get delayed regardless. No, Ain't no way they was gonna have that stuff done within a year, and it took them four years to get the. To get no, the no, 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 no. Look, look, look. The first time they said that what they, they was gonna drop it, I was like, no way. And then the next time was like, kind of like, I think twenty twenty five, maybe like fall, something like that. So I was like, all right, cool. With this, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, We're yeah. not getting anything to 2026 at the, the very earliest. And I and I've been saying for the longest, I don't see this ending anytime. Like the if the writer strike didn't end anytime soon, or come not even end, just come to like somebody on mm-hmm. each side agreeing to at least one thing, and nothing's been agreed on. Yeah, they literally just want these actors to go broke. Like they they've said, and that, that's what's funny. Ron Perlman pretty much confirmed, like, uh, we Bob Iger, <laughs> motherfucker. You know, you saw, um, his, his, his post, I think it was on Instagram, right? Or it was Twitter. Twitter. And he pretty, like, he subliminally was just like, nah, we know that it's you, Bob Iger. We know you live, motherfucker. Like, uh, you're not slick. Mm-hmm. You're the one that's saying you want these people to go broke, and it's it's just like disgusting. Bro. That's exactly what they're about to do. They're about to wait it out until everybody's money run out and people start being homeless and shit. And then it's gonna, it's, they honestly gonna start rioting, bro. I, like I really see this going south. They they've already started some of the marches too. Yeah. So like it's getting bad. Yeah. yeah. Man, everything's all fucked up, and I'm getting like mixed reports on uh. I think everybody here watches uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, or at least watched it. Maybe I, I plead the fifth. Oh man, really? Wolf, yeah. you didn't watch nope. it? Nope. Oh everybody man, everybody tells me I would love it though, so I need to go ahead and stop playing and watch it. I personally think it's kind of better than Game of Thrones season one. Mm. That's just me. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but the action. I'm like, this mug has a lot more action than Game of Thrones. He's, that was more like dialogue heavy, if anything. And it sucks. Like, I'm hearing reports that it, it is Holton Reduction. And then I'm hearing one thing that like UK has like their own union or something like that. So the actors are like paid and they're not going to like, they're like paid through the government or something. So they won't hold production. So like, I don't know how this is going to really play out like is it going to be a case by case thing now if it's uk projects and stuff like i don't know what's really going on here like this it's becoming a, a big mess at least in like deadpool 3 that's got halted immediately like almost everybody on there is part of the the was it the sga uh a guide or something like that i think that's what they are the sga uh, like 
it was the WGA, like the uh, writer's guide. And yeah, I think it was WGA. Yeah, I think that's what it was. A lot of them were like members on it, like Hugh Jackman. I think he was part of it, and he put out a statement. And and that's the thing, like so many people may not even be part of the WGA and you know, all the other organizations, but they they have other fellow actors or friends that are in it, and so they show support and also go on a strike. So it's like it, it's screwed all around. This the the industry is kind of fucked. Yeah, but um. If anybody doesn't have any more thoughts on that, we can talk about Deadpool 3 on uh, um, the villain that got revealed. Slice Already. Slight spoiler. Um, I'll put a a spoiler. You know, you've been warned. It's a Deadpool 3 spoiler. You know, 3, 2, 1. Um, the villain is going to be OG Magneto. Straight from last month. Yep, Man, straight from X Men One. Makes sense. It makes sense. And it was already reported that the Wolverine we're getting is from Eight Three Eight. Yeah, Eight Three Eight, where they kind of side with Matt Nito. Not necessarily side, but it's like they just let him do the, uh, you know, I guess the House of M reference of making everybody mutants or making majority of pop uh, population mutants. So. I wonder how they're gonna play on that, on how he ends up being like a threat to Deadpool in this situation because he's jumping around in different universes. It, it is like a kill the, the MCU kind of situation where he's like killing the Fox characters, but I think it's a cool little if, twist. If y'all peep from the set photos, they got the 20th Century Fox sign destroyed in the background. I um, didn't even see that. Where did you see that? <laughs> it was it was in one of them set photos where they was fighting. Oh, what? or whatever. Where the actual where they show the clouds? You talking about that set picture? Mm -hmm. mm. It's if you look in the background, it's a 20th century Fox sign back there. So that's why people think they doing the Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe storyline. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's starting to make sense. Mm -hmm. but how y'all feeling? Gee, let's see what happens, Nick. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. I'm all for it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Depending on how this one go, we might have to talk about the Deadpool trilogy, man. Yeah. Oh man. Are we putting it next to the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy? Because I'm not gonna lie, I might be no, okay. here. It might be un. It's a tad bit under, but it's up there. Let this uh, let this third one be good. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, this might be a hot take. Uh -oh. It's gonna be. I'm taking it over the Dark Knight trilogy, and I'm being dead serious. That's not a hot take. No, that's not a hot take. That's not a hot. Oh take. no, you talk to the wrong people. You tell the wrong people that uh, you might get lynched or something. something. Bail or bust. <laughs> well, those are people who probably have never picked up a Batman book and have only watched the movie. So of course they're gonna say that. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, no offense to Christian Bell, he's still one of the goats. Um, like we said on our superhero uh tier list uh episode, go check that out. Be in the description. Um. We definitely said that Dark Knight trilogy is not it. It don't hold up. It doesn't hold up, and it's just a lot of issues. It's just the dark. It's literally just the Dark Knight. Maybe Batman Begins. You know, uh, you know, it's all right. But like, think really think about it though. I mean, the beginning, really the beginning of the of the trilogy, right? The villain wants to destroy Gotham. Okay, because uh, you know Gotham is bad. Mm -hmm. Second movie, the villain. Thinks it's not the city, it's the people, and the people are just one push away from going absolutely haywire. Cool, absolutely great. That's a that's a great uh, improvement from the the first thought. You know what I'm saying? What does the third villain want to do? <laughs> Go back to trying to destroy Gotham. Like, come on. <laughs> Isolate Gotham. And like, and, and, and her uh, and her death scene was one of the worst death scenes oh. I've ever seen. Yep, Kevin Hart's uh, Kevin Hart's grandmama uh, faked her death better. <laughs> Duh. Put them side by side. Put them side by side. Put them side, by side. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. And I say it is bad already because listen, I don't care what people say, and I've been brutally honest about this. The Dark Knight is not a Batman movie; it is a Joker movie. Yeah, he carries the fuck out of that film. He does, and it feels oh. like it's really from his perspective. I mean, okay, I can see that because the opening scene is just like everybody 
he's getting treated like Batman. He's like, bro, this nigga, this nigga insane, bro. Like mm-hmm. he's just walking around with clown plate on. Like he's mm-hmm. supposed to be paying me this amount of money. His he paid you, pay you this much? No, he paid me this much to kill your ass. Pop, pop. His, his his presence literally overshadows everybody else in that movie. Like literally. Yeah. R.I.P. Heath Ledger, man. He, he wants to see a magic trick. He make this pencil disappear. That see? scene is legendary, bro. It's right done. in the socket. It's done. Enough on the clown. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> man of my word. <laughs> Nobody ever pays attention that he kills the Asian dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. He definitely does. Uh, the broker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the nigga's on top of the money. He just lights everything on fire. Nobody's. Nobody what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I have to go back and watch. <laughs> oh, okay, now I gotta go see that. And Kiki pointed out your eyes movie. are following the Joker now. The Joker. The yeah. <laughs> That's a really great shot, actually. And, and Kiki pointed out a good thing. Like by the time you get to the third film, the fear factor of Batman's not even there like he's he, non-existent especially in Batman so. fighting with day like what the hell yeah we want one the real conversation is a uh, Christian Bale great actor he's no Batman he's not even a Bruce that's the problem he can't pick one well most back uh well most Batman they either a good Bruce or a good Batman he neither yeah, no, I like his Bruce. I was gonna say his Bruce is very Bruce, tough. I, it's, it's, I think we've gotten all good Bruce Wayne's. His easy. his Bruce is only good if you. Like the but they only the really boy. focused on his on the the quote unquote Playboy persona. Like I yeah. think he did that a really decent job, but a uh, well, well, good job. But other than that, like that was really it. He <laughs> wasn't a philanthropist. Uh, he wasn't uh, like doing any like uh damn it, I can't even say the fucking word. Philanthropy. Philanthropist. Yes. <laughs> sure. It's a, a tongue twister. It is. Uh but shit. Since we were talking about some DC shit, uh how y'all feel about the new blue beetle trailer? That mug gonna go crazy. Hey man, let's oh, let's see. Blue it's, beetle. Let's see. It's time for the James Gunn era for real, bro. Let's get to yes, it. Sir, yes, it's sir, not really yeah. a James Gunn yes, film. Technically, no. It's not about it's not about being his film. It's his era, bro. It's his era. Is like, it, he, are they gonna backtrack when he doesn't sell? Because he said everything before uh what is what's his Superman legacy? Everything before that is non canon. So I don't know, man. Listen and Aquaman, man. that might get delayed too. Which oh, I didn't even put that on the list. But, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not tripping about that. Aquaman. You know, it's not because because the character. Because I like the character just for the comics, and I liked, I liked the movie, the first one. That, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? But like, was I like craving the second one? No, nah, not really. No. I personally felt like we didn't need a second movie. We yeah. don't. And yeah. I'm not supporting Amber Heard. She shit the bed. So fuck um, me. Anything, <laughs> any, anything Snyderverse related? Yes. Kind of not, oh, you, you mean the shit verse? Yeah. Thank oh, you. come on, thank bro. You, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Y'all not gonna do it, my king, yeah. bro. Thank yeah. You. I'm shitting. I'm shitting on Snyder. Yeah, I because you see, uh, delayed folks. Uh oh. What you don't know is there's an internal struggle going on between me and Saint between uh about uh the Man of Steel. It's ass. Nope. Don't listen to say movie. Nah. Don't. Nah. Nah. You on your own. You on your own with that shit. Is it? It's just, nah, it's not just true between you and him. Me and him go back and forth on me and him go back and forth on Snyder Batman every so often. Oh, that's your ass too. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta stop. I don't I don't really care for your Snyder. Batman, your uh Batman vs. Superman movie had uh had <coughs> Doomsday looking like Rufus. That movie's terrible. We well, can unanimously agree on that. It's a terrible film, but I, I like a lot of stuff out of it. But listen, I'm not gonna let you get that off because I'm gonna be quite honest in live action, Doomsday does not look good. I don't care what any of y'all say. He he just does not look good. Yeah, look at every iteration we got of him. We got this uh Superman v Batman. We got Krypton, uh, Krypton, Super or uh, Superman and Lois, and it's one more. Krypton Superman didn't look, Krypton didn't look too bad. Krypton was the most comic accurate. Yeah, it was the closest to the comic. Yeah, 
and also the animated one, I guess, but we talking live action, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Kry Krypton literally topped the list, and that Superman, uh, yeah, man, that that's not Doomsday, bro. I think no. it can be done. I Snyder think... don't know uh, the identity of Superman for real. He don't understand what what Superman is, man. I disagree. I disagree. I also oh, disagree. Really. Re Rewatch Man of Steel. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he understand, if he, listen, as I always say. That is not the adaptation of Superman I would ever. If I look, if I was to give somebody a top ten thing of, of adaptations to look at for Superman, that is definitely the bottom ten by far. I know you're not showing the Superman Returns. I'm most definitely as, as much as I as much as I, I love that most, Superman. I'm that, most definitely going to show them. I'm not recommend that movie, bro. I'm going to show them Superman Returns because as bad uh, as that movie is, they're going to fall asleep. As as bad. Oh, we think we think the TV on. Same, same. We think niggas did to Man of Steel. Like okay, and if they watch Man of Steel, and if they watch in that mug, and if they watch in Docs, that's Docs. If they fall asleep to Superman Returns, that's cool. But guess what? Guess what? If they watch Man of Steel, they're gonna wonder why the why the why why Superman sitting up here helping Zod cause all these destruction. Why Superman killing Zod? Why is Paul Kent over here? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna let you get that off. So when I say they were causing destruction, man, F you, bro. Wait a minute. Man, Wait a minute. Man. Oh, okay. Think you said I was crazy, <laughs> but you could chalk that up to he really didn't have no experience fighting, bro. Like he didn't I mean, know you how could to say it was being I mean, the dog shit out that nigga. You, I mean, you could say that, but I literally said on this pod, just save it, just save it. Well, not this pod, delay, delay W. I said to you, man, that's all we need. That's I did not need. like. I did not appreciate them. Superman destroying everything like that, but you called me crazy. You called me a, a, a crazy man, a, a ill motherfucker. You, you say I did, I did. It's craziness, but uh, I know we, we kind of went off on a tangent, but uh, yeah, Aquaman. The reason I bring up Aquaman too is with this actors and writer strike, they not only can't like you can't do reshoots, you can't do any of that. This movie might. It might just get canceled. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Worst case scenario for DC, they might even just put it on. Um, well, best case scenario, they might put it on. Uh, the Max, what we call oh, it, we call it HBO, it's right? not HBO so anymore. It's so just do, Max. To do, to do a rerun of uh, uh, 1984. We saw how that turned out. Oh God. Mm -hmm. You had to that. All I'm gonna say is Diana flying. It, Come on, bro. Hey, <laughs> I, I mean it, that, that's what they did. They put it on. They put it on the max, and and we know why. Is that 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 shit? That much stinks. I <laughs> still ain't seen it, and I probably won't. I think I'm. You good. don't. You don't. don't. You don't. You don't. Listen, listen. Relevant Pedro Pascal carried, but no. I'm sorry. I, I cannot. I can't wholeheartedly say. Do not watch that dog. Shit. What was this fucking <laughs> phrase he kept saying? <laughs> oh man, life could oh. be good. No, or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Life could be good, but can't be bad. But it could be better. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That 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 was a weird film. Oh, weird all around. Even what? my mom. My, my mom's a Wonder Woman Wonder Woman fan, and she heavily dislikes '84 because yeah. you grew up with Linda Carter. I, I know it was bad because my parents had watched it, and they didn't watch it all the way through. <laughs> My pops is on the phone. Once my pops start watching on the phone, it's either a bad film or it's just it's not clicking like it should be. If it's a really fire film, like a ten out of ten, he gonna keep watching. <laughs> but Blue Beetle, um, like Jay Money said, I'm my once I seen George Lopez in that mug and he was putting in some corny jokes. I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling this. I'm on. I love George about Lopez. Mm, I'm not watching this mug, and I don't trust this being. Part of uh, James Gunn's universe because because it's everything. still in it Snyder's. Really, no, like, I don't, sucks. I don't, I don't think it has anything to do connected with the Snyderverse. Or I think it's just like what Docs is saying. Like this is James Gunn Gunn's era. It's just he's pretty much in charge of these movies from here on out. I, I don't believe him on that, bro. He the same one that gassed up the Flash and then like dissed it like a week later. So uh, take his job. Ain't it his it job? Is, but I, it is, it but job? Uh, you don't so, got to be full of shit. I personally don't think, like, yes, yeah, his era, but I don't think 
we can count Blue Beetle in that because it was it been because the movie's done, so it's like it, it yeah, was already done, done for the the previous era, but it's coming out in the gun. Okay, era. okay, it is, but does it feel like a Snyder era movie? Hell no, no. You, you know, what what what? here's the thing. Here's the thing. You see they got rid of saying? Snyder. They got rid of Snyder before it even really popped off. They, yeah. they started Justice League, and you listen. We're not even going to bring up that that fat bastard on this podcast. He's a a, a pervert and a racist. So yeah, f him. Um, justice for uh, Ray Fisher. Um, but yeah. Oh, his, that was his universe and whatever the fuck. Warner Bros. was doing, and they just he gave us two. He gave us two good MCU movies. I can tell you that much. Which ones, bro? Name them. Avengers Name and them. Age of Ultron. And listen, you know what a lot of people's gonna say about Age of Ultron, but we're gonna. I don't care what they say. It's still a good movie. Hey, listen. I'm I just think saying. Under, I think it's underrated. It's not better than the first one, but it's still good. Uh, my first one. Lie. Really looking back at it, bro. I ain't there. I have some problems with the first one as well, bro. I, don't know I, I know, I, I definitely do too. But it's, uh, but, but, but both of them are not bad movies by any means. They're okay. I think they only went crazy box office wise is because we had never seen no shit like that before, bro. And it was just like a monumental moment. I mean, that's I that's, that's some, that's some oh. shots. We're just like, bro, y'all put budget in here. Why is it so dark? Yeah. <laughs> you cannot see shit. Man, that movie's dark as shit. Especially uh, like that scene where, uh, where uh, the scene where it was Thor, Iron Man, and Cap in the woods with Loki's shit, bro. Come on. Yeah. Definitely couldn't see that in the theater, day. Man, you, you can see in the theater. What do you think it's gonna be on the TV? <laughs> <laughs> I shot the flashlight on my TV to see the TV. It's, yeah. it's not worse. But shit, what's uh kind of get away from? Comic books just for a second. Um, did anybody watch Bleach? Because I didn't put that on my topics here. Watch what? Nope. Bleach. Bleach. I ain't mean, man, no. Doc, you, you don't like Bleach? I watch Bleach. You don't like Bleach? No, that's not a lot. No, I like Bleach. Bleach. Oh, like you, just, you just haven't watched the, the news season? Yeah, man. I'm, you know, once you get caught up in manga and shit, like, I don't know, there's sometimes where it's just like I lose the feeling to want to watch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go down. You're not here for the animation, the, the, the greatness, that 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 4K, Chris. But I mean, it's it's like you when said. You see, like, <laughs> when, like, when, when you see you, Kubo's pin, it don't. It's the same thing. Yeah, like it's it is. It is the same thing. Like they they one for one recreated Kubo's art. But I will say when the, when the whole season drops, go ahead and watch it, bro. It's it's worth the watch. I might, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. That's where I'm. That's where I'm at now. If you was yeah, you, ask me this about maybe three, four years ago, I'd be like, "Oh hell yeah!" <laughs> hell, I was caught up on shit. You know how many different mangas I'm caught up on? Hell yeah! Oh, you the manga sweat? Probably not One Piece, I'd imagine. Oh, absolutely not. I'm not reading that. <laughs> I refuse yeah, yeah. to read a thousand plus chapters, bro. It's just not happening. No, hey, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just started Epo. I might do that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Epo's dumb tough. Get mm. the box, the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Hey, King not here, so I get to have this one piece slender off. I ain't, I ain't reading that shit. Do it, do it, do I'm it. Serious. If I want to read, read one piece. I want to, uh, if I want to see some dirty, stinking pirates, I watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> Don't go, yes, sir. I've only seen the first movie. What? What? So you skipped the best movie in the no 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 a positive topics bro. I only Time seen up, the one up. with Davy Jones in it. Yes, sir, the best one. I oh, dead man. Yeah. Listen, listen, and the only reason I seen the first joint was because the white homies were like, "Yo, this is the shit." I'm like, "All right, put it on." <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen. I don't that was well, that was headed. Hold on, hold on. Listen, docs. I'm gonna force you to go. When we plan the next trip, I will drag you to LA. I don't wow. care if I gotta take a car, drive up there from LA, go to Arizona, drive your ass to LA to that Disneyland, and we're gonna go on the fucking Pirates of the Caribbean ride, bro. And you're gonna I watch it. Nigga, I've been on the ride. ride. You've been on the ride? You have 
This is crazy. I was a kid. What you want me to do? Yeah, you going again, bro? You going again, bro? I all that. I mean, as a kid, you don't really have much choice. You either get, you either get on the ride or possibly get your ass. You know what, bro? You know what? You were scared, huh? You were scared, scared of little, little bones in the corner. Huh? Dude, I don't know. We got on that goddamn boat. It was cool. <laughs> Didn't that ride have like a a drop at the beginning? Yes, it does. I remember that, and it was all dark. That scared the shit out of me. Like it was so unexpected, <laughs> bro. It was then, then, then it was just a, world. then it was just a cozy ride for the rest. I don't know why they had to it. add that first. Yeah, drop. Uh, you made it. You're talking shit. Uh, when you slide the uh, the Disney Plus, I will be watching the, that second movie. Yes, sir. Watch the second, second and great. the third one, bro. Uh, no, I missed tonight, nigga. One of them is getting done. <laughs> No, no, watch the second that. one. We will talk about it next week on the late takes. And I want your your full on review, your honest review. Don't even text me what you think. I want I want you to tell me and the delayed folks. Looking like somebody. Are you talking I about did. Dead Man's Chest? Yes, Dead Man's Chest, the best one. Yeah, not even I close. Thought, Docs, I thought you said you already yeah. saw David Jones. No, I said no. no that was David. Oh. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I get the voice mixed up. Hey, it's probably because we were on one mic here. So. Yeah. All got his one yeah. mic. No, I'm not. I'm not looking at my computer most of the time <laughs> when I'm listening. Well, uh, yeah, Doc said that's moment tonight. I'm sliding you that on it. Pause. Um, the Disney Plus. And okay. do you need the Hulu, bro? Listen. Nah, I, I still got. You uh, need the Hulu. I, got the, I got the combo with uh Hulu and Spotify, so I'm good on that. Yes. Mm. Hey. I gotta what convince you to somehow out, bro. watch that bleach do it for the one time, man. You supposed man, to be the anime. anime out there. Hey, 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 man! Don't put the man, anime. He really knows I haven't everything. been, I haven't been the God. anime dude. Uh, it's a moons now. You know what I'm saying? No, I said you the animation guy though. Animation guy? You mean? It all depends. Yeah. My content. Yeah. I, I've been, I've been, I've been on mostly music more than like actual content. So like, when I'm in it, that's why I just got going to the live. So like, what I watch. Mm. Call, call up on screen. Um, started the bear. I watch shit. What movie? And then I've been watching some movies with the homies. So I watched two thousand one Space Odyssey. Mm. Uh, Ooh, Clockwork Orange. Um, shit. What else did we watch? Watched the menu last year and watched it again. Cook it. Watch it. <laughs> Well, that's not for a split second. You was about to tell y'all watch the minions. I mean, what's up? You trying to put a suit on and watch that movie? What? <laughs> the minions. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I've been I've been on different shit. So Cohort. And when I watch them, I watch them, you know. You go, you becoming a movie guy. I might have to uh, hit up the movie guys podcast and get you on there. Mm. Hey, I've been working on it. Shoot, I'll I'll I, 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 I ain't really watch no mob movies. I don't really like that type of shit. But I ended up watching some uh, late last year. So I watched Scarface and Goodfellas. Yes, yes sir. sir. You finally watched it, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Shit. But speaking of movies, how does everybody feel about Godzilla Minus 1, bro? The, the new trailer. A little Wait. teaser. I haven't <laughs> seen it. Oh, 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 if you think if you think I'm not I'm not excited oh, for a kaiju orangutan, you're out of your kaiju. Like we eat good. Like we eat good. Hey, hey, listen. We eat good deliciously. Listen, I'm I'm there for it all day, every day. Hey, you was going for the monkey, weren't you? I nah. definitely wasn't going for that. <laughs> nigga, I'm a an OG, nigga. Yes, sir, man. That's what I like to hear, man. I mean, I'm not gonna hold you like even uh -oh. just the from the concept alone, you yeah, I don't know who whoever really walked into that that movie thinking that King Kong was gonna win, you, you might have just not have been right in the head. The writers I, really he wanted that nigga to win though. Ass beat. No, beat. Like, like he they, I, they was I, building him up to be like this prodigy golden gorilla, bro. Like, and I didn't really like, fuck with I him. remember when that but to be fair, fair, he's no. low-key kind of you know what I'm saying. He only is he really LeBron right now. Yeah. This LeBron, not Prime LeBron. Okay, okay. He's kind of an older yeah. nigga. Um, cause he got, like, some grays, he got some grays in his hair. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just remember again, watching the trailer, and the first thing I thought of, well, Godzilla gonna win because this boy Kong showed out for the white for the white woman. Hey, 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 listen, hey, listen. Not, not, not in this, hey, hey, not this Kong, not this Kong, not my Kong. 
Hey, listen, he always been down for the white one. I'm sorry. Hey, it's different this time. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. He ain't obsessing about him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't obsessing about him. Okay, so I just watched the teaser. It's looking like this is a sequel to Shin Godzilla. Instead of the legendary uh universe. Interesting. I'm with the I'm with that either way. Shin Godzilla crazy. Shin Godzilla is crazy because it gives you them Toho vibes. Yeah, I, I definitely used to watch that Godzilla anime system, but definitely was cracked. That nigga had the beam on the tail. Yes, sir. But shoot. Um we could talk about Last of Us 2 real quick, since everybody here plays games. And you everybody knows about it, you know, about the show. They have already well. Uh, Craig, uh, was it Craig Mazin? I think that's his name. Uh, he was the one that directed the last one. He's the whole reason why they even did the show. So shout out to him. Even though I don't agree, it was highly disappointed with, with the first season. I'm hopeful because he came out and said that the last was two will be two seasons. So that's already a good time for me. So it's like, okay, they're not rushing everything out. And they, they pretty much got everything uh, like wrote for it, you know. So that's not going to get delayed as far as that part. It's just the the actor strike we're waiting on. But this could be promising. Um, hopefully, they. Um, I really, I'm praying they do not change a, like anything drastic, especially the ending of that mode because. I know people were crying. Uh, I won't spoil it for people that are haven't played the game yet. That game been out for five no, 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 Kiki. Don't do it. Don't do it because <laughs> the whole point. L- listen, listen. The whole point of the show is to get people into the games. You know what I mean? And some people they may, may, they may have started watching the show now because you know it's getting a lot of nominations. So shout out to everybody. They deserve the nominations. Um, they may not have played the game yet, or they might be playing it right now. So. What, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's certain people that were fake outraged about a certain character because they got, um, I'll just say they got their shit knocked in, you know, golf club day. Um, and yeah, I, I hope they don't change that because stupid. if they do, I'm not, hope they, hope I, they I will do a bat. Listen, a bat might be worse. Get, get Negan involved. Oh. Huh. Nah, See, let's dad, go about really now. Nah, let's go five steps. Let's go. Let's go five steps forward and rep- and and make a Jason Todd cameo and use a crowbar. How about that? Oh uh, god, let's get to that. Let's Jason get to that, Slander, bro. I'm all let's for it. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. It's not Jason Slander. <laughs> you know, it's, true. You it's mad, a canon you, event. You mad at us <laughs> because the writers didn't like that dude so much that they was like they they put a eight one hundred number in the in the back of the last issue of him uh, alive. And guess what? And guess time. what? People yeah, called guess true. what? And people called it and guess what? He died. He did die. That is crazy. The people got what they want where slander and Jason made me cut myself. <laughs> 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 now which which swing from this crowbar hurts the worst? One Two, <laughs> one, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, what do y'all want? Like, as far as the 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 show to be, like, do you want them to change anything? Yes, like drastically, or do you yes. read this? I agree with the story wholeheartedly. I want I one don't... scene changed, Uh-oh. slash removed, and it's that boat scene. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Yes. So you 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 want the outcome? Uh, you want the outcome to be go? You should just went for it. The the piece of purpose is journey. That's how you feel, right? I didn't hear a word you said. It was lagging on like, my side. Like the you hate the you hate that the all the stuff that happened throughout that journey and for that outcome, you hate that like that end result. Like it didn't go as it should, right? So is that how you feel? Nah, I just don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, you just want him to cut it entirely, huh? Yeah, like a allude, but don't fully pledge it out. Cause who who's gonna be the actress for Abby? Oh, um, that, that they, okay. 
that, so, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That both seems like without going into detail. I, I, like, I don't really. know who, who's gonna be the actor. <laughs> they have to, they have to <laughs> I, I said to change it, make it less sick. Yeah, well, we know that Dina's in there. Um, they they won't confirm it, but well, if you listen to the the Last of Us podcast that they that they do, where Craig Mazin, um, Troy Baker's the host of it, and. They have uh, Neil uh, Druckmann, I almost said the other word. Um, and they they didn't confirm it, and they said, we're not going to deny it either. They're like, just stay tuned. And I'm pretty sure that was Dina in the show, because she, she was there for a split second. So, um, Kiki, do you want them to, what do you want them to change? I would, I would for one like him to change that enemy. Like, okay, I, okay. I, I, I just... <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? All right. Um, oh, we didn't talk about Superman Legacy and the casting. Like, how y'all feel about all these? Great, great, great. Are I don't even know who those people are. Are you looking good? You don't know We're, all... we're already. I don't know any of those people. We're already yeah, off. We're yeah. already off to a beautiful, to a beautiful, beautiful start with that movie. And they um, said where in Superman's life this is going to be to make it'll it be his, a legacy. It'll be like his first year working at the Daily Planet. Oh, so basically, my adventures in Superman live action. Mm. You could yes, yes. The Batman so, in translation. Yes, that too. But I am I wrong to feel like this. With all these castings of Justice League like characters, I'm like, is this shit even a Superman movie anymore? They already no, they they already said that like Superman is not the first superhero in this universe. Other superheroes have existed before him, so it's not. I mean, they might make little cameos here and there or be referenced, but this I think through and through will be very much a Superman movie. Okay, I'm just hoping they, they they do that because I don't want them having a bunch of kids uh, fucking the Flash situation. Even though I like the Flash movie, um, I don't want them making it not about Superman. Like, I've been waiting too long for an actual Superman movie. Uh, I need this month to be go for him right, and I, I I trust James Gunn on that. But I'm the casting had me a little spooked. I'm like, the fuck y'all got going on, bro? What what are you cooking? Yeah. The castings are perfect. Mm, you want you you want a color film black Superman, eh? Hmm. Well, you should know. Well, well, there's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh anime oh, no. style show that just came out. Oh, uh, exactly. I think you should watch it. I did watch it, sir. I think you should continue to watch it. Oh, I'm good on that. <laughs> but you said you want you said you wanted a bright and colorful Superman. That, that that's it. That's that's uh, I'm going to take my time and go watch a Superman animated series all over again. Well, that's fine, too. That's fine, too. I mean, that's a classic. Nobody, Nobody's going to blame me for that. Yeah, yeah. Now what? I mean, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I would like it. Yeah, I, yes, I would, I would prefer it if you watch that, actually. My adventures yeah. with Superman. It'll it'll make you understand why. It, it might make you understand why Doc Stinks Man is still his ass, to be honest. No, I've watched, I've watched. I've watched the animated series. I mean, so you. I, one of my favorite. I haven't even said this, and you, you you're hating ass. You always be like saying you just a Snyder fan. Shut the fuck up. Because every time we <laughs> have a conversation <laughs> about DC, hold on. Let me, right right let me get my stuff out. Let me get my stuff out. No, nothing until we start talking about Snyderverse. Now, F you, F you. Let me get my stuff off. My favorite animated movie, as far as the DC stuff. Is that Doomsday movie? I I, I watched that movie with my mom. Superman loved Doomsday? it. Loved it. Loved it, bro. It was Superman, Superman Doomsday or the Death eight? of Superman? That is a good oh. movie, but that's not the best Superman movie. Oh, I didn't say it was the best. I'm saying it's the best movie. animated DC movie. No, I'd say that's my favorite. Oh, favorite. my favorite. It's my favorite. Oh. Oh. Personal oh. preference. Everybody. Personal preference. Man, I don't so, even know. You know what I mean? Animated mm, DC movies I've seen. Mm, mm, and how many of mm, them are really good? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, it, it's so crazy I'm how uh, besides the Dark Knight for a while, all they movies is ass, but the animated ones. Um, 
Yeah, once you start getting once you start getting into that new fifty two territory, that's when the movies start to start taking the yeah, new new fifty ass. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Slow yeah. down, slow down. So new fifty two is good, man. Some, yes, yeah. some. Like you know the first, like the first three, maybe four. But after that, going to Atlantis, yeah. Justice League War. Yeah, Apocalypse War. Like, Ain't that, that the one where they jump Green Lantern? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so you got so you got Justice League War. Man, they did my boy Batman. Batman. I got this. They <laughs> uh, <laughs> beat uh, the dog shit out. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give you Throne of Atlantis. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Her. Man, what else? Bro, I would give you some. I would give you Batman versus Robin, but they fucked up that quarter hour storyline so bad. What about uh, Death of Superman and the Reign of the Superman? Reign of Superman was good. Death of Superman, we already got that like in two thousand six. So it was kind of no point to redo it. Yeah. yeah, there was really no point to redo either of those movies because Doomsday was just a condensed, more it was, it was just a more condensed version of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Batman, Bad Blood. Me, yeah. yeah. But let me ask y'all with this last topic, and then we get in our delay takes for the week. Um, how do y'all feel about this Ahsoka trailer, man? Y'all excited? But uh, I'm, not excited. Excited. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not like excited. I said, I'm not wow. excited, but I'm very hopeful. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. No, are speak. you really? In, are you really in deep speak. trouble or? Is, is this is this about to be your delay take for the week? I, I gotta know, bro. Yeah, so man. Listen, all the controversy. Listen, as I got an older, I realized I don't oh. really give a fuck about Star Wars for real. Uh oh. You know what? I can respect no, I that. I I can was respect younger, when I was younger, I thought that shit was cool. But then I, I, I realized can respect that opinion. When I just I realized a nigga just wanted a lightsaber. That's it. Oh <laughs> man. damn. No, no, no I so can the force is all right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A nigga just want a lightsaber. I can respect so, that. Like, opinion. you know, the last Star Wars uh Shit I seen was probably like Rogue One. Chapter so that, I, ain't, so I ain't seen nothing. So I, ain't seen shit. I ain't seen no shows. I ain't seen the Last Jedi. I ain't seen none. none. So essentially, you outgrew Star Wars. Essentially, that's yeah, what yeah, like. that's what it sounds like. Yeah, and no, no, I understand it. But like, yeah, like but, it's, it's, but like you know, if I want to watch one of the Order Johns, I'm cool with that. But do I feel like watching the Mandalorian and all that? No, Ahsoka. No, Obi Wan. No. Wait. You you're not feeling our queen Rosario Dawson. Rosario Dawson is bringing. Yeah. Yeah. If I say if I say what I want to say about her on this, <laughs> so she did. You saying she mid? I'm not saying you she have a crush on. He no, got game. No, no, listen. I did not say she was mid. But if I say uh, what I really want to say, we might get uh, demonetized. We'll get canceled. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, I'm, about to, I'm about to get nasty. Nope. You're, no, sick. you're oh, a sick man. Yes. All I'm saying you is don't change. If Eric Andre pulled her, I know I can. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. You just had to see. You just ruined my night, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he's. A, I mean, he's. A, <laughs> oh, you forgot? Oh, you you mean that shit? Up? <laughs> you forgot about that? You forget? You, you forgot? forgot? You forgot? I purposely forgot about it. I, I deleted that out of my mind. You mad at him because he's funny? That nigga is hilarious. He is the way. How the fuck he pulled Rosario Dawson? I, I, just, I just told you he's funny. <laughs> Hey, I'm not. Look, look. When you're a funny, when you're a funny man, women can do some miracles for you, man. Oh man. His form of comedy is just walking into the bedroom uh, with his dick tucked and talking about, "Yo, where my dick go?" (laughs) That is his. Yeah. Shock, shock comedy. I bet you her ass laugh every single time. But man. (laughs) So, was since you are saying a crazy take or not crazy take but a delayed take here, I'm gonna say mine's bro. I've I've been meaning to do this, but we have been recording a lot, been busy. My delayed take, bro. My hot take for the week. Y'all niggas need to stop doing these fan casting, bro. You're not a no, no, stop it, stop oh, it. You know what's crazy? I completely, I never liked fan casting. I never liked it. It has to stop. That's borderline not a hot take. Listen, when niggas were telling me, oh, yeah, you know they tried to cast The Rock as a, a, a Kratos, I'm like, stop I've it. I've seen that bullshit. Stop it. You saw it. You saw it. I was talking about. It has, it, it has to end, bro. They cast any white person as Batman. <laughs> it just be like, come on, bro. This dude don't even look. 
Like, nah, you have like, somebody nah, like, oh, put, put Danny DeVito no, no, as Batman. Listen, like, what are you doing? Of, <laughs> no, just bored. The amount of random niggas they've had for uh, either Blade or Black Panther is actually ridiculous. It's wild. Man. Ridiculous. Yeah, Ridiculous, bro. They, like, I remember they was like, "Hey, put Daniel Kaluuya." So I'm, I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's literally in it. What are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Like these people have to stop. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just scroll past it. I, really? ain't, I don't even entertain it. Oh man, that's my de- uh, delayed take. Uh, Wolf, what you got, man? I don't think I have anything. I know you got I'm something, bro. I'm trying to think. You don't even gotta be in the superhero realm or sci-fi, whatever's on your mind, brother. Uh, I guess the the force is female. What do you yeah. mean by that? All right, go in detail, brother. Go on. <laughs> it means what it means. Like, are you like the force as in like the, the Star Wars like Michael force? Jackson force in oh, Star Wars? Or what, what do you mean? Nah, it's the, the, the Star Wars force, it's it's female, bro. That what? Because it is. You mean in like you so are you saying? So you, are you uh, saying, no, I, I, uh, I'm, 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 what I'm quoting is, um, I think the there's either either they were directors of like Star Wars like stories and TV shows. One of them wore the Force is female, saying that you know they're obviously trying to go away from George Lucas to create their own like Star Wars. Oh, you're now. talking about Kathleen Kennedy and the Slender. Yeah, that's, oh, what, I'm, that, yeah, that's right, what I'm saying. Stop. The force is female. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. I agree with you on that one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that is like the most, you know, they're, they're kind of like trying to destroy George Lucas's Star Wars creation and going to this weird ass adaptation with new ideas, dismantling old ideas. It's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah, force female. They're trying. They're trying to create their new canon, uh, man. Yeah, basically, a new a new version of Star Wars that doesn't relate to the old movies. No, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. It's ridiculous. But uh, hey. Kiki, you know, closes off, man. What, what, what's your What's your take, man? Um, so on um, the Asper King. So stop. So on Instagram, um, I saw this thing, and it was a Jay Z museum, and I think that they should take that down. <laughs> oh come on, bro! Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Oh, a Jay Z museum! Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Yes, yes, yes. I don't think you deserve it. Yes, come on, bro! Yes, it. Come on, bro! It it pretty much like it showed like some of his like it showed all his albums. It showed like some pictures, some of his greatest accomplishments. And by the and I almost commented under the post about they need to take this down. Stat. Come on, bro. It's not even like a strictly museum for like, bro. It's just it's just a one little exhibit for like. That's fine. Take on, it down. Bro. I don't care what. Come it on, is. bro. <laughs> Come on. It can't bro. even be like a small little section. Nope. 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 He's a legend. He, he's he's done his thing, bro. A lot of you people, know. especially Drake, has copied him. Like. One, okay. One, one, bro. Okay. Bark that, bark. Okay. Drake copies a lot of people. What's your point? No, oh, here we go, bro. You saying here we go? Is it? Is it? Is it? Am I lying? Docs, J Money, am I? Hey lying? man, they're they're students of the game. They pay the homage. Yeah, I don't want me to talk about Drake. Yeah, right, here we go. Listen, Ooh, delay listen, listen. We we'll say that for delay W, bro. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We I need a whole the, episode to talk about Drake. I plead the fifth. Oh man, shit. Um, hope everybody enjoyed this podcast. Uh, you're listening on YouTube or watching on YouTube. Hit that like button, subscribe. Share this mug, bro. Like, need shares. Please share with your friends. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, follow us there. Rate us five stars. That helps the podcast grow. And yeah, we'll catch y'all on the next episode, man. Yes, sir. Here, Doc's still a slut, though. <laughs>